Can you tell me what I'm doing wrong here? No? Look good? Pretty fast chop? What about with me right hand? I'm going to do the same thing. Again, it looked pretty sharp because I did it fast and you might not be able to tell, but right there I'm telegraphing me punches, which makes them a lot slower. And it's a very common mistake that I see is people telegraphing their punches. And another big one that I see is this. <coughs> that there, a big telegraph, that's not going to hit anyone. So we don't want to be throwing punches like this. And on this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to be doing the next time you're in the gym to be able to, one, identify you telegraphing the punches, and two, how to fix it, how to be able to throw punches faster and sharper so you look better, and also if you're in there with someone, they're not going to be able to see your punches coming. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give you one thing that you can do the very next time you're in the gym that is going to really help your punches be very unpredictable and make you look like a professional. So make sure you hang around to the end to see that bonus tip right there. If you're new to this channel, my name's Tony Jeffries. I'm an Olympic medalist boxer, former undefeated professional, seven times national champion, European gold medalist as well. And on this YouTube channel, I give you lots of boxing education videos. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification for more videos like this. All right, let's get into this video. So loading up your punches. Firstly, why? Why do we do it? Why is this common? And that right there, well, I was loading up my punches, pulling it back, pushing it forward. And the reason it's so common is because you think that you're going to get more power in the punch when you are pulling it back and throwing it forward, pulling it back, throwing it forward. And you might actually get a little bit more power in the punch. You know, when I think about it, I've been on them punch ball machines at the fairground or at events. And what I do to get the most power in them is I kind of run up. Uh, and blast it there, the big telegraph, and I get a, I do get a lot of power in it. So that's why we do telegraph punches, because we think that we can get more power into the punch. But like I said earlier on, if you do this, your punches will be slower. We don't want to punch slow, we want to punch fast. So and another thing is if you're in there with an opponent, especially someone with experience, if they see this or this, they're moving, they've blocked. Yeah, something as small as this, you're not going to land that punch. So when you are punching, it's got to be fast and unpredictable like this. Like that right there, I didn't telegraph. Or a, a one, two. I never, not telegraphing the punches there. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. But first, I'm going to tell you, how do you identify it to know that you're making these mistakes? Especially if you're working out on your own, it's hard to be able to see or tell if you're doing this. And if you are doing this, you probably don't realize it because you, you don't realize it until you're in there with a coach with experience who can tell you you're telegraphing your punches. So this is what you've got to do. Get your cell phone with a camera on or get a camera and I want you to put it on a tripod or you can even stand it on a bench and then from there video yourself, record yourself boxing on the heavy bag and you can even put it in slow motion. If you put it in slow motion you'll be able to see if your punches are being telegraphed or not. So do this, set it up and then, and then punch from there. Then when you, when you are watching your video back, you'll be able to see if you are making that mistake or not. And if you are making that mistake, you've just identified you've got a problem with your boxing. So now you've identified that you're in this bad habit, how do you get out of it? Well, the first thing that you've got to do is think about it. Now you're aware of it, think about it when you're on a heavy bag. Think about the mistake that you're making, then improve it by doing it right. And that's what you've got to do. You've got to think about it, and then do it. Think about it, do it. Think about it and do it right every single time until you get to the point of being able to do it without having to think about it. And I see this all the time on my channel. Think about it, do it until you get to the point where you don't have to think about it and it comes automatically. And that's how you get into good habits, no matter what your bad habits are, is by thinking about the problem and then doing it correctly. So that's the big thing right there. Now, the other thing that you've got to do is think about speed. Every punch doesn't have to be <laughs> hard like that. One, you're going to get tired and out of breath, but two, it's not realistic. Think about speed and that will get you out of this habit. If you're thinking about your fast punches <laughs> like that, now right there, I never loaded up any of them punches and I never telegraphed any of them punches because I'm thinking about good speed. And when you think about the good speed, you're not going to telegraph because you haven't got time to pull it back 
and then throw that punch. So right there, we're going to think about it and do it. We're going to think about speed. And this way, your opponent or whoever's in front of you is never going to be able to see your punches coming. And that's what we want to do. We always want to be one step ahead and not letting this guy, even though it is a heavy bag, you know, getting into them good habits, not allowing anyone to know what you're going to do next. And I'm about to give you a great, great tip for you to do the very next time you're in the gym that's going to really help you uh, get better at not being able to predict any punches ever. But before I do that, I need to tell you about this. Yes, this is a little ad for Alpha Brain. This is a supplement that I take just about daily. And this helps really support my memory, my focus. I take it before I do videos like this. It gives us the energy. It helps us speak the way I'm speaking. Now, I hope you can understand what I'm saying because I know I've got a bit of an accent. But yeah, Alpha Brain is great and it really does help me in everyday life and, and live better. And guys, if you want to be able to get some of this, they are doing 10% off the first order for my subscribers. So you can click the link below or you can go to onnit.com forward slash boxing and get 10% off this. And this will really help support your memory, support your focus, and hopefully it'll help you live better like it's doing for me. And also you can check out the other supplements on there, 10% off everything. They've got some great, great products on there and I can't recommend them highly enough. Now, I'm gonna throw them over there. So go to onnit.com forward slash boxing and you will be able to get 10% off any of the products on the website. It's really great, and I would never recommend anything that I didn't 100% believe in that, 100% believe in that. I'm gonna talk about that all day, but I'm not gonna do. I'm gonna get back on with this video and give you this tip. So what is this tip that I'm telling you about? Well, it really is. What you've got to do is move before and after every punch. If you're here on the heavy bag and you're moving your head, you're moving your hands before you punch, then after every punch, the person in front of you hasn't got a clue what you're going to do. Now watch this, I'm going to give you an example here. So I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. I'm moving before, I'm moving before. Now I'm moving after, I'm moving after. Moving before and after. Rather than being a sitting duck here. Uh, 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 uh. Move your head before and after every single punch. I guarantee you, they'll not know what's coming and it will make you look like a much better fighter than you are right now. Now that there might feel awkward, but you've got to practice and get better at it and get better at it. I'm getting tired now because I've been talking for a long time. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up because I put a lot of effort and energy into these videos. Give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and thank you for watching.